Hello, this is Kerry Moskovitz from the Thompson Writing Program at Duke University and director of the Text Recycling Research Project. Researchers often have reason to reuse the materials from their prior documents, from works in progress like conference posters, workplace documents like grant proposals, or from their prior publications. The Text Recycling Research Project defines text recycling this way. It is the reuse of textual material, whether prose, visuals, or equations, in any new document where the material in the new document is identical to or nearly so with the source document. The material is not presented in the new document as a quotation, and at least one author of the new document is also an author of the prior document. There are problems with the terminology that's currently used to discuss text recycling in policies, guidelines, contracts, and in scholarship. Here are the four most commonly used terms, text recycling, self-plagiarism, redundant publication, and duplicate publication. These terms are used in rather contradictory ways uh, depending on uh, whose documents you're looking at and even changing over time within the same organization. For example, the Council of Science Editors uses duplicate publication and self-plagiarism as synonyms. Cope uses text recycling and self-plagiarism as synonyms and makes a distinction between those and redu redundant publication and duplicate publication, which they also use as synonyms. Springer Nature, in their different documents, uses redundant publication as an umbrella term, self-plagiarism as a subset of redundant publication, and then text recycling as a particular kind of self-plagiarism. So you can see the problems, depending on whose documents you look at, you would be confused as to whether or not certain things would be allowed or not allowed. So in order to try to clarify this confusion, I've developed a new taxonomy, which I present here. Developmental recycling in my taxonomy is recycling material from unpublished documents produced as part of the research and writing process. So this would include things like reusing material from a grant proposal in your conference poster or reusing material from your conference talk in your poster or in your journal article. Generative recycling is recycling published material in a new work that offers a substantive and original intellectual contribution. For instance, reusing background information or the description of an experimental method from one of your published articles in a new article. Adaptive publication is recycling published material along with the same basic essential content but changed in some way for a different readership or genre or context. For example, reusing material from your published journal article in a commentary or blog on the same topic, or translating your published article into another language. And then finally, duplicate publication is recycling published material along with the same primary content for the same audience and genre such as submitting the same published article to another journal or making superficial changes to an article and submitting it to another journal as a new manuscript. We've been using these new terms in our model text recycling policies that we're developing and they've proven to be very useful. We'll be releasing those in the near future. One goal in developing this taxonomy was to have the categories align with its acceptability, both ethically and legally. Developmental recycling is usually ethical and legal. Generative recycling depends on the amount and type of recycled material in relation to publishers' policies and copyright laws. Some publishers will allow some amounts or some types of recycled material and disallow others. Copyright laws vary by country. For adaptive publication, it depends on getting permission from the copyright holder and also transparency with the editors and readers. So for instance, doing a translation may be acceptable and legal, but it depends on the authors and having an agreement with the publishers and being clear and transparent. And finally, duplicate publication is rarely ethical or legal. 